Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Basil. I am coming to you today with an exciting video for me. I am unboxing two cloth and paper planners. I got both A5 ring planners. If you watched one of my older videos, you know that I've been using this little vinyl planner that I got on Amazon. It was really cheap, like maybe 10 or $11. Um, and I've just been using this as my home binder. It literally has like nothing in it because I like having it very thin and I also have been using separately my personal planner. This is my Julio Medium XL Campania and Undyed. You can see it's getting a bit of a patina, especially if I open that. Hopefully you can see a little bit of that color change there. Um, so I've been using these two for myself. Um, but I wanted something new. I actually was prompted by looking for a work planner. Um, so I was debating on getting a new Julio, but I didn't want to wait for the A5s to restock. Then I was debating on getting a VDS Custom, and I couldn't find, you know, the exact leather that I wanted. So I decided I'll just wait and see what happens, and then Cloth and & Paper announced their pre-order, and it was just the perfect timing for me. You can see this is my old work binder. Um, this is what prompted me. It was just too small having just a regular medium Campania from Julio. This is in the Croco Matte Charcoal colorway. And I absolutely love this planner, but I will not be using it for work anymore. And I'm actually not going to use the new cloth and paper for work either. I've had a change of heart. So I'm going to be switching everything out in this one and making this my work planner. And then I'm going to bulk up my home binder in one of the new A5s. And the other A5 is going to be kind of a crafting personal projects planner um, that maybe I'll get into later on. Anyways, without further ado, let's open these up. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's open this first one. So I actually haven't even opened these at all. I just opened the box to make sure that they were inside um, and that everything looked okay, but I haven't actually opened them myself yet. So I'm very excited. I love the way that these shipped, by the way. They came in a larger box and then the two of these were inside. So it's really nice because these are like pristine cloth and paper boxes that I can use for storing of my supplies or for storing other planners when I'm not using them. So you see, it comes in its own dust bag as well as in a plastic protector. Oh, it feels really nice already. This is a very nice bag. Okay, I can feel, and I think that this is the smooth saddle. Yes. Oh, and can you tell that I tried? I didn't even know <laughs> if it was actually going to match, um, but I like doing a planicure when I do a new planner, and I went for a saddle planner cure this time so if you're interested the color is called caramel and it's from the gel bottle uk oh my gosh it's stunning let's get a look at that texture so this is real leather this is the smooth saddle it has really nice pebbles and then it does have those gold rings inside And they do look tight. They did take a lot of care in double checking all of the planners before they sent them out. There's all of the card slots here on the left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets here. We do have two side pockets that both go to full height. And then there's also a back pocket there. You do get one pen loop 
it's not elasticized, but it feels rather generous. I know that Ashley likes a lot of the same pens, so I'm sure that I'll be able to fit them in there, the ones that I've got from Clock and Paper. It does feel very nice. And then you can see their logo, which is embossed in gold down here. Very nice. I'm very happy with this already. So this is going to be used as a personal project slash craft planner. There's the back. It's just plain. Very nice to have like a really clean outside, but then to have that subtle cloth and paper moment there in the back. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that my planicure actually like matches. <laughs> I was like hoping like, will it match the saddle? We'll see. And it did. So happy about that. I will take this and set her over here. And this is the second one. I'm actually really excited about this one too. Yeah, this is perfect because I have a little bit more to talk about with this one. Let's open her up. Okay. See, we once again have the nice bag here. Again, soft, nice bag with the logo. And this is the new leather. It is the contour leather. Oh, it's stunning. And I got it with black rings. Let's get that out of there. So I can give you all a look at this leather. So this again is real leather and it is carved into this gorgeous pattern. I opted for black rings in this one, as you can see. It does have a different inside just lightly, but there are the same number of pockets. So you have the big one at the bottom and you have six card slots. You have two side pockets, both the full height and then a full height back pocket as well. Again, with the cloth and paper detailing, this one is stamped on instead of embossed. And then we do have a pen loop, again, not elasticized. Just made out of the same leather, but it is a generous pen loop. You can fit a decent amount of pins in there. I get the Penspiration box, so I'm sure I'll be able to fit those pins in there. Absolutely stunning. So this is going to be my new home binder instead of this little one. So I am going to be bulking it up. I really have been taking like one or two pages and putting them in this one from each section instead of putting the full thing in. Um, but you can see there's a decent difference in size between these two. So to talk about my plans for her, let's get this over here. I have things that I already had ready to go into my home binder that I've been using in small batches. So these are the unwritten on, so I can show these. This is the full finance collection. I probably won't put the full thing in just because it's a lot still. I mean, you see how chunky that is. This isn't a finance planner, it's a home binder, but I do wanna have a finance section. So I will add a decent amount of these in there just to track everything that I am spending. I also will have a few contact sheets in there. And then I have some different types of planning pages that I wanna put in. So these are the new Cornell notes that came in a sub box a while back. As you can see from cloth and paper. And then these are actually Hobonichi week style inserts. These are the older Hobonichi Week style inserts. So I'll put in a few of these. 
Next, I will put in some of these wish list things. I'm kind of going to use them as a shopping list rather than a wish list for myself. Um, but I will be using these mostly for online orders, I think, as well. Okay, moving on to other kind of more decor things, but also functional. Um, I'm trying to figure out what dashboards I want. I went through my, I literally have a drawer of cloth and paper goodies because I just, I hoard them. I get duplicates just in case I run out of them so I don't have to wait for too long to get them again. It's, it's a problem, but there are worse problems to have than having extra cloth and paper. Um, so these, I'm thinking I will stack like this for one section. I think I will stack these for another section. I like the contrast. And then this will be my inbox in there. And then another thing that I already had in my collection, you can see I opened these, but I keep everything in its original packaging just for safety, in case of spills. Um, these are just some of their note cards. I do have both collections, so I'll put in a few of these. And then I want to add some things from the newest sub box. So this just came. Um, I had switched my sub box to the personal size. I was using it in my undyed as well as in my Crocomat charcoal medium campanas. But now that I had these new ones coming, it's really nice if you do the sub box, you can change sizes with each individual box, even if you do like I do the three month renew and I can change, you know, month to month what size I want, which is really nice. So I changed to a five this time around because I knew these were on their way and it came literally two days before the planners. So I'm very happy about that. Um, it's really nice because it came with this reading log. So I will be adding this. I'm also adding kind of similar to these, some inserts from Paper Test Designs. I will link to below. It is her entertainment bundle. I really love them. I have it in the personal size and I would like to have it in my A5 as well just to have more space to write. This is for December. It's really nice. I will be putting these in there. This is the 2021 style insert. Um, I really like these. I've been using them in my personal planner. There's a little spot for bills, important dates, goals, and a to-do list. And then what's really nice about these is they do have their own monthly spread inside as well as the weeks that go with that month. And then there's also, I think it's in this stack. Yes, each month she's been including a cover page. I've been saving these as well because I think I can add a one on there myself in case I don't get a 2021 cover page next year. Um, it'll be really nice to keep these, have the 2020 and then each year I can add a different number. I don't want them to be single use because they are very nice quality. And then these are the other dashboards that came with the collection. Um, I'm not sure if all of these will go in there just because it is a lot and I don't want to over bulk it, but I kind of want it to be um, pretty nice. So this is the digital declutter. I think this is made to go with their morning half sheet as well as what I read. Very nice. This is one of their new, new, new dashboards. It's on this really lovely stock. If you can see through the shine. Very pretty. And then this one, I kind of love these two stacked, if you can see that. But this is a kind of glass plastic, one of their completely see-through dashboards. We got one last month in the box that was actually to be used as a dry eraser inbox that I got for personal. I kind of wish I'd got it for the A5 now, but I will be using it in my undyed. I'm not going to give up using that planner at all. And then these, I think I will use just as an accent. I think these will go well with the black. I'm not completely certain yet because I do have all of the other colors as well in their circles but I really like this new color. Maybe I'll save this for some Kiki K moments um, in my mint planner, but for now, I'm thinking I will use these sparingly in there. And then finally, some pins. 
because let me get these two back. One and two. With these two, I like doing themed pens. So of course I have my Tombows. This is N15, which is one of their blacks. So we'll use that one. And then for the saddle, this is 977, the perfect match as well. For pins, I have a couple. This is the Coffee Brown Pilot Juice Oops. in 0.5. Again, that's Coffee Brown, which I think will be nice. And this is a Monami Plus pin. in gold brown. I think that's a good setup for that one. I do have some more. I'll show you in a second. Um, but for this one, I will use one of these. This is an MNG gel pen. I love it. I have the other one as well with the cap instead of the push. And then it was finally time to pull these out. I've been saving these. I have one package left of two more of the AirFit grips. Um, these are the Zebra Sarasa Dry Airfit Grips from Cloth and Paper. So these will go with this. I do have, if you can see, one of them is the see-through black and then one of them is the solid. So I've got those two to go with that. I like finding and matching pairs of things. So I think that'll be a nice kind of combo to go along. Um, I will use other pens, but this is like me trying to pre-plan what I'll be using. Um, finally, some things from the new sub boxes. This is from this month, and this I believe is from last month or the month before. But I really like this nude ink pen. It's gel ink. I think will go well with that. And then this is from this most recent box. I do like to keep them together when I'm not using them. I mean, just look at that. It's like they were made to go together. And then even if I wanted to, I could throw this one over here as well. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'll be setting these up for myself. Um, I'll probably share, but there won't be too much that I'll share once it's inside, just because I like to keep my information private. But I do like to just show you all what I'm getting, um, what's changing. I'm sorry I've been away for so long. I've been very busy. Um, I was working like crazy for about two months and that has shut down for me. It was very wild working in healthcare. Um, I worked in health insurance. So that was a riot during the pandemic, as you can imagine. Um, but I am back to doing my own thing now. So I will be trying to do videos a little bit more regularly, but I can't promise just because it depends on, you know, when I have time, when I have a moment, when it's quiet. Uh, this is basically where I'm at right now, along with my other planners, just so you can see them. It's a cute little family. I'm very happy with them. I'm very happy with these planners. They look like they're in good shape. This one has a little bit of the leather needing to relax. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. This one is in perfect shape as well. The rings all look very tight and I'm happy with the matte black rings here. So you can find me on Instagram at Fresh Plans and I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.